And welcome to Monday Night Smackdown Raw NXT Professional WWFE Federation Entertainment Wrestling Online. The future is here. And his name is Jimmy Uso. It's 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 it's, it's uh, Smackdown. It's Smackdown. It's Smackdown. I love SmackDown. Don't you love SmackDown? I fucking love SmackDown so much. First match of the show, we have the Uso family. Well, you can't do a six on six, so it's um, it's half of the Uso family versus the newest day and Fandango, because Fandango never debuted in 2K15, which is really sad. So here he is. He's helping out the newest day. Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston, along with Fondango versus Jimmy Uso, Samoa Uso, Joe, Joe Uso, that's his name, Rikishi Uso. Samoa, why would I say Samoa? All the Usos are Samoa something. Samoa Jimmy in the ring, Samoa James. Oh, uppercut. This is a European uppercut by a well, he's he's not uh, he's not Jamaican. He's barely African. From a Bostonian, Bostonian uppercut by Kofi Kingston. Oh, and the stamps to the gut. Remember when he was Jamaican? Jesus, why did they do that? Oh, Mitch and Noku driver. Everybody has the move in this game. Everybody. Jimmy tags out to Rikishi Uso. Now this match, nothing's really on the line so much as it's a, it's a showcase match. Because uh, a battleground, we will have the second ever Uso Battle Royale. This time consisting of only Usos. Kofi was in the last one. It was a five man. It was the four Usos at the time. Plus Kofi Kingston. Xavier Woods was supposed to be in it, but he got taken out by the, uh, the Dwayne. Dwayne Uso before the match. What a mean guy. Okay, in comes Woods. Woods, of course, had an amazing match. Uh, cage match at Extreme Rules with Dwayne Uso. They are bitter rivals to the end. And he just hates the Uso family. So he wanted in this match. He got Kofi Kingston to sign up for it. And Fandango was the third man. The newest day... Never never held on to the, the tag team gold. Another day was the original tag team champions before the Uso family took over at Payback. At Money in the Bank, the Uso family would go on to defend the belts against the Russian World Order of Fidel Fideskar and Ivan Swagger. Ivan Swagger. Gotta love him. Short arm clothesline, down goes Woods. Now, the, the Uso Battle Royale is in a very, very important matchup. Because it decides who is the Uso. And who is the Uso, you ask? Basically, the greatest Simone who ever lived. Right now, that man is Jimmy Uso. Jimmy Uso is the prodigy of the Uso family. He was able to take the Money in the Bank briefcase in the Elimination Chamber match 2-1. He has three very impressive accolades already, Jimmy Uso. He won the first ever Uso Battle Royale, the first ever Elimination Chamber, and the second ever Money in the Bank. Two of those in the same match, and he's the second man to ever pin Brock Lesnar. Alright, Woods, not looking good against Samoa, Samoa Uso, Joe, Joe Uso, that's his name. Joe Uso looking very disgusting. Because there's no good uh, Korean wrestlers for him yet. Uh, Rikishi. Rikishi Uso and Joe Uso both beating the shit out of Woods. Joe slips and falls. Tag team maneuver. Oh, poor, poor Xavier Woods. He can't catch a break. Into the ring comes Joe. Now, of course, the first Uso eliminated is typically seen as the worst Uso. 
Oh my god! What a dive! What a dive to the outside by Joe Uso. It did not pay off. He completely whiffed it. Xavier took no damage from that. And Joe landed on his face. I don't know if that's going to help. I don't think it will. Fandango in for the first time ever. This is his first match. And he's not doing good right out of the gate. But you have to be impressed with the Uso family. You just have to be. Surprisingly, although they are a huge part of SmackDown, the Uso family, none of them have ever main evented a pay-per-view before. The first um, Extreme Rules was main evented by the Animal Batista and Randy Orton. Payback was main evented by John Cena and the Demon Kane. And Money of the Bank is main evented by Cesaro and Randy Orton. Plus little surprise cash in from PJ Black, Justin Gabriel. Oh, nice counter by Joe Uso. He's using his fat to his advantage. He takes down Fandango. But he makes the tag out to the prodigy of the Uso family, Jimmy Uso. Joe Uso tags up to Jimmy Uso. Woo! Down goes Dongo. Tiger suplex to Dongo on the outside. Here comes Jimmy Uso. Trading blows. They're really, really doing a number to Fondongo. Hmm. Uh, Samoa Joe. Who's that? I mean, Joe Uso. And Jimmy Uso both have singles victories over Co Kofi Kingston. Actually, yeah. He's trying to tag in. Here comes Joe. This is Joe's second ever match. Nice gut buster by Dongo. This is Rikishi Uso's first match as well. As well as uh, Fondongo's. Kofi has him against the ropes. Irish whip. Oh, nice forearm. Kingston, yet to pick up a win. I believe so far he's completely defeated. With three losses. One to Joe, one to Jimmy. And one to the Uso family. It was the Uso family versus the newest day. Uso family came out on top, got them the number one contendership for uh, another day's titles. Justin Gabriel, of course, a former member of another day. With Darren Young and uh, Titus O'Neil. Neckbreaker to Joe. Justin Gabriel, one of the only people to ever Defeat Jimmy Uso. Jimmy Uso and Randy Orton, the only two people to do it. Two. And a kick out by Joe. Kishi, no wins, no losses yet. Joe, one win. Zero losses as well. It's not looking good for Kingston. <laughs> oh no! Guillotine! He killed him. He alley ooped guillotine him. He's dead. He decapitated Kofi Kingston. It is over. Get him out of there. No. This is just... This isn't right. This is just brutal. This is an abuse of power. Joe, what are you doing? He's already dead. Is he going for that muscle buster? Kingston reverses. Top rope. Hurricane Rana, get out of there, Kingston, while you can. He had an internal decapitation. You can't see it. But his neck is... <laughs> oh, he's dead. Get out of there. Thank you, Kofi. This isn't good for your health. You could die. Oh! Big ending. Big ending finisher combo. Doggo with the pin. One, two. No, Joe kicks out. They caught off Jimmy and Rikishi, but Joe kicked out of the... 
the the big Dongo. And now Dongo takes a German suplex from Rikishi. Joe back in. Jimmy on the outside. It's Joe Dongo in the center. Head scissors and an elbow. The newest day feud with the Uso family. Quite entertaining to watch, I must say. Dongo was a nice little X-Factor in there. Dongo has Joe in the Tree of Woe position. Goes to the top rope. Oh, he did the deal! He did the Del Rio! He done Del Rio him. Oh, and a Shibata kick. Right to the chest. That's two finishers in a row. And a Russian leg sweep. Oh, my. All these power moves Joe has taken. I can't help but think that is the end of Joe Uso. They're going to have to break that up. One, two. And Jimmy does. Joe seemed to have not been able to kick out of that one. A punch to the side of the head. Good thing he has a rock-hard skull as a Samoan. Irish whip to the outside goes Dongo. And Joe follows. Kingston watching. A strike returned. And a pump handle suplex. Nice move by Joe. Joe Uso very impressive. The newbie of the Uso family. The young guy. The young boy of the Usos. Oh, the newest day members just towering over Joe. Kofi lifts him up. Headlock. No, Xavier wanted some, but it led to Joe being able to escape. No, Kofi wanted some. They, this miscommunication, what is happening here? Dongo's dancing, and it allows Joe to tag out. The Dongo dance did not pay off. Oh, nice move by Dongo. And Dongo able to tag out to Xavier Woods. Here he comes. The ultimate feud. Xavier Woods versus the Usos. Super kick! Irish whip super kick. Jaw jacking. That could be it for Xavier. No. This man took like three rock bottoms before he was defeated at Extreme Rules. I'm not surprised he was able to get out of that. It really shouldn't be. Irish whip into the corner goes Woods. Oh, the ass bomb. And a beal throw. There he goes. Xavier Woods not in good condition right now. Back into that same corner. This is not where you want to be, Xavier. Another ass bomb. Followed by a second beal throw. He is just bombing his ass against Xavier Woods. Mind games by Rikishi Uso. Back into the same corner again. Woods, you have to get out of this. Oh no. Woods, what have you done? This could be the end of Xavier. No! His face is inside Rikishi Uso's asshole. That is not the first Samoan asshole Xavier has been inside of, but a kick out. Oh, headbutt. The hard Samoan skull to Xavier Woods. And he's sizing him up for something. Rikishi Uso lifts him up. Big ending. No! Samoan driver. The Rikishi driver. That is it for Woods. One, two, broken up by Kofi Kingston. Dongo just watching. Back elbow to Rikishi Uso. Irish whip by Uso. Gigantic ass by Uso. Oh, a third ass bomb. 
And the third field throw by Rikishi Uso. He is just eviscerating his opponent, Xavier Woods. The hatred between these two families is incredible. The Woods family and the Uso family. Rikishi looking like he had enough. He's tagging in Jimmy. Here comes the chosen one, the prodigy of the Uso family. Missing that punch, though, however. That's got to sting your back. I'm starting to feel bad for Woods in this one. He rolls out of the way of that stomp. Rolls back in. But Uso still has the advantage. Christian DDT! And it appears Woods is busted open and bleeding. Now he's lifting Woods up. The hatred here. Down goes Woods. Super kick! That was a super kick to Xavier Woods, folks. It's not looking good for him. Everyone in! It's broken up, but there is quite a melee going on in the ring. Irish whip by Rikishi Uso. Out goes Dongo. Jim Uso still in control, though. Going to the top rope. Uso splash! Xavier Woods down after the Uso splash. One, two. Ah, Kofi Kingston was not able to break it up in time, and Dongo is nowhere in sight. That is it. That is the end of that match. Jimmy Uso picking up the win for his team. Look, look at this proud family. Oh man, Rikishi Uso so proud of his his sons, Joe and Jimmy. His other two children, um, Roman and Jay, will have a match next week. Oh God, Batista! Batista is here! Batista has accepted Kane's US Open Challenge! Kane looking a little different than the last time we saw him, though. Oh my god! Oh my god, what a spine buster! He just cracked the back of Batista. He's killing him. There's so much to explain right now. This is, of course, US Champion President Kane. He has given up being a demon. He will only bring out the demon when he needs to. It takes too much of his energy, he has decided. He is now the libertarian president, Kane. Beautiful, beautiful sidewalk slam by the president. And Batista has accepted the U.S. Open Challenge. Batista, of course, loves to accept these things. He accepted the World Heavyweight... Uh, SmackDown World Heavyweight Open Challenge at Extreme Rules, and here he is accepting Kane's US Open Challenge on SmackDown. He also had a shot at joining the Money in the Bank match, the uh, Elimination Chamber Money in the Bank, but he was defeated by Jimmy Uso, who would go on to be in the match and win it. Batista here. This is his beard Tista form. Irish whip, and he goes. And President Kane is in control of this match ever since that back-breaking spinebuster on the announce table. That did not look pretty. Oh, the wa The walls of... I don't have a pun. I don't have a pun for that. I feel like I should. Into the corner. President Kane with the boots of justice in his face. Oh, what a maneuver. He is not taking it easy on the challenger, Mr. Batista. Vertical suplex down goes Batista again. Batista has had no offense since that initial clothesline that took Kane to the outside. Oh, Glenn hits a drop kick. President Glenn has been U.S. champion for a while now. He lost it for a bit, I will say. He lost it for a bit. About a week, he went without the title. He lost it to Damian Sandow during an open challenge, but regained it at the pay-per-view, Money in the Bank, in a Hell in a Cell match against Sandow and Big Show. 
where he pinned Sandow after a big choke slam, and Big Show just decided not to break it up. Oh, choke hold by Batista. Military press. Down into a slam. Nice maneuver. Batista finally gets some more offense back in. Batista could be your next U.S. champion. Mount, full mount, and punches to the head. He gives up the mount, though. Cover. Almost a three count already on President Kane. President Kane, though, listens to the people. He knows what the fans want, so he put this up as a U.S. Ch open challenge here on SmackDown. Up comes Tista. Against the ropes. Irish whip to the outside on the apron is Batista. Kane follows through. Headlock. Oh! And a DDT on the apron. That is the hardest part of the wrestling ring, of course. And another boot to the head. That could be it for Batista. President Kane makes his way back into the ring. And he's bringing the stomps with his dress pants and his nice shoes. Cover. Good night, Batista. One, two, three. That is it. That We just saw the dismantling of Batista. President Kane. Fantastic showing by President Kane. Still your United States Champion. Stay tuned next week for SmackDown. Next episode, of course, will be Monday Night Raw. And stay tuned for the Long Haul Battleground as the next pay-per-view. Kane will face Sandow in a rematch. It's gonna be hype, bro.